Rick Santelli is standing by at the CME in Chicago. And Rick, take it away. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm watching 10-year note yields drip lower even before some of the data hits the wires. And we are expecting to see jobless claims hover around that magic 200,000. Remember, if it's under, it'll be the fourth week it'll be under. And we break that streak. It is above 200,000. 228,000. It certainly seems as though whoever was buying treasuries, pushing rates down, uh, had a pretty good guess there. And that is the first time we've been over 200,000 uh, since the first week in March. And that was 212,000. Last time we had a number around 228,000. You have to go all the way back to 231,000. That was the first week in December of last year. And on continuing claims, not only did we pop above 1.7 million, we popped above 1.8 million. Watch these yields continue to move lower. Uh, equities, well, there's a lot of reasons it may or may not follow suit. 1,823,000. 1,823,000. The last time we were that high, buckle up, December 10th, the week of December 10th of 2021. And at that point, it was over 1.9. Uh, so this is really a biggie. And with regard to equities, it becomes a little bit tough because obviously when claims are going up, that most likely is going to be a less tight labor market. We see much of the data is implying a weaker economy. We've seen many guests point to either flight to safety in treasuries or a slowing economy. The problem or the issue is, is that both of those dynamics cause buying, pushing yields down. Now, that really isn't a problem, but it can be a problem, especially if the equity markets view that as more of a symbol of uh, a stagflation-type banner, and that certainly seems to be the direction many investors' strategy seems to be aiming. Becky, back to you.